everybody, Rick Needham on Sunday afternoon, June the 29th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle Major Track Report. Let's go to Belmont Park in New York City first, 2.36 p.m. Eastern Post for race number four, the Tremont Stakes. Five and a half furlongs on the dirt, two-year-olds race for a $100,000 purse. Contenders number one, Mr. Mistopheles, number two, Regardable Outcome, Number five, Dag Nabbit, and number three, Essence of the Moon. Number one, Mr. Mistopheles has nice early speed for this sprint. Comes off a maiden breaking power run win in his first asking race. Jockey Johnny Velasquez is in his irons for that win, which produced a positive 80% return on investment. Velasquez is back today for his second ride, gunning for back to back circle trips. Number two, regardless of outcome, is hit the board in each of his three career starts, including a power run win to break his maiden his last time out. Race four summary, number one, Mr. Mistopheles tops my contenders list, which also includes number two, regardless of outcome, number five, Dag Nabbit, and number three, Essence of the Moon. One, two, five, three, and the fourth from Belmont Park, the $100,000 Tremont Stakes. Out to Churchill Downs. Uh, in Kentucky next, race 6, 3.46 p.m. Eastern Post time for this five furlong sprint on the turf. Three-year-olds and up racing for an allowance purse of $43,100. Contenders number four, Crack the Cognac. Number six, Brennan Gowala. Number three, Runs with Angels. And number one, Twoffer. Number four, Crack the Cognac, is both the speed and pace profile leader in this allowance field today, sprinting at five furlongs on the turf. Has hit the board in power run fashion in two of his last three, including a power run win facing better company in his third race back. Number six, Brennan Guala, a British bred entry, qualifies as a Trackmaster plus power pony, drops in class by 12 units, goes to the post with the skills of the jockey trainer tandem of Jamie Thoreau and Corey Autry in his corner. They fit the board with 53% of more than 250 entries saddled as a team to date. Race number six summary, number four, Crack the Cognac, tops my contenders list, which also includes number six, Brennan Guala, number three, Runs with Angels, and number one, Toffer. That's 4631 in the sixth from Churchill Downs. Go to Southern California next, uh, Hollywood Park, race 2, 1 p.m. Pacific Post time. It's a six furlong sprint on the turf course. Phillies and Mares, three years old, and up race for a st starter allowance purse of $25,000. Contenders number four, Justice is Brief, number five, Matinee, number six, Donna's Miracle Lane, and number seven, Warren's Catwoman. Number four, Justice is Brief, has turned in a quartet of power runs in her last five starts, sitting the board in three of those outings. Jockey Tyler Bays and trainer Doug O'Neill send her post for today. They fit the board with 53% of their entry saddle as a team to date. Number five, Matinee, a 6-1 to one shot, comes off a power run show finish in her last start, missing a circle trip in that race by a photograph neck at the wire. Race two summary, number four, Justice is Brief, tops the contenders list, which also includes number five, Matinee, number six, Donna's Miracle Lane, and number seven, Warren's Catwoman, 4-5-6-7 in the second from Hollywood Park. A couple of bonus long shots for you as usual, folks. Let's go to Charlestown first, race four. Five to one shot, number five, my boy, takes a class drop of 15 units as the speed leader in this maiden field, spreading at her about four and one half furlongs on the dirt. He also raced at Finger Lakes Race Course in upstate New York today as well. Race seven, number five, Freud in Girl. Four to one in the morning line, comes off a power run win in her last start. So from Belmont Park on a Sunday afternoon as we wrap up another racing week here in New York City, Rick Needham for three major tracks reporting today, reminding you as always to please step with your head, not over it.